Hey everyone, it's Derek here, and today I want to show you about this tool called Multiple Tools for Facebook. It's an awesome tool to help automate um, a lot of tasks, such as removing friends. Uh, if you don't know where this is, definitely pause this video, go on Chrome extension, um, Multiple Tools for Facebook. Can't spell, but uh, there you go. And it's created by a software engineer, um, and he made it really awesome. You can see how popular it is over 900 comments, over 4,000 users, uh, a lot of positive reviews. So you just got to click this in your um, Chrome web browser and then you get added and it's here. Now let me show you the dashboard here. You can see um, this is my dashboard you can log in um, and they have a free feature that you can try out. Um, but definitely I recommend getting um, the premium feature, which is really just uh, $10 a month just for one account, which is what I have. Um, so, and it's it's really more of a donation than um, you know pricing because you can see ten dollars for this automation tool uh, that works on Facebook. A lot of it is in the two hundred range or thirty dollars a month type of deal. This is just a one time payment for ten dollars. So um, yeah. Anyways, so going through the dashboard. Here is my dashboard. I can click update now, and it's going to get my information uh, with my Facebook. The purpose of this is to really uh, help automate a lot of things on Facebook. For example, your friend request, you can see on the left side here, uh, friend removing, group scanner, pages, there's a lot of them. Uh, but honestly, I really just use the friend request here and the uh, interaction scanner, which I'll show you in a bit. But you can see this dashboard here, it'll show you um, how many followers you have, how many friends, groups, and all that. If you're doing organic strategy, um, using Facebook, right? You're doing online business using your Facebook profile. This is something you should definitely get because you need to know your data. You need to know, um, you know, how many friends you got, uh, how many friends you're adding every day, how many friends you're removing, because if they're not engaging in your comments, then it's really not a, um, not useful, right? Uh, you can see, yep, all these numbers. And you can see most common, most comments post. I can click that. Let's see. And it'll show you. So this is one of the posts that uh, I had the most comments on. That, that's pretty awesome because then you'll know what worked and what really created that hype and um, that generated a lot of comments. Most like posts, you can click that as well. It'll show you that. So yeah, this is pretty useful to really give you an idea on how to make things better for your business. Now going down on these tabs here, you can friend request incoming. These are the people who added you as friends, but you haven't accepted yet. You can really see their profile um, and click John Smith right here. See if he has similar interests as me. He's interested in, you know, he's an entrepreneur, US, Bitcoin investment. This will give you an idea of what they do. Um, and then you can sort of see if they're in your niche. Are they your ideal customer? Would this be a person that you'd want to interact with? Um, I personally, with my business, I don't interact with a lot of Bitcoin people because they're doing Bitcoin, I'm doing affiliate marketing and software. So it really doesn't um, interest me. So he's sending me a request, doesn't really matter. Um, he's from, interesting how he's from, he lives in New York, he's from Texas. Yeah. Another thing is you want to really uh, check your gut feeling. Okay, usually you check their profile. Are they legit? Are they something very similar to you? What are they posting, right? You want their content to be uh, relatable. Uh, and also, are they posting? And clearly, this is not a public post. Uh, if it is, he doesn't post a lot. Um, and honestly, I think this might be a fake account, maybe even like a spammer. Maybe he doesn't even use Facebook a lot, too. No, there's no links here. Friends is 60. All his friends, so I think he's relatively new, or it could be a fake account. But my gut feeling is, uh, no, I'm going to delete that request. Okay, so that's something that you can check, but that's a manual way. Um, if if you don't want to just, if you know you're going to accept all of them, and assume that okay, they're all good, you could always just click here and just click accept every one of them. Um, but definitely it'll give you an idea of what's going on. Here's an outgoing, this is the ones that you sent a friend request to. Um, 
Facebook actually has a limit on how many friends requests you can send to people. And um, if you send too much, then Facebook will um, sort of uh, flag you for that and limit your reaching because it shows that people don't want to engage with you. You know, if you have a lot of friend requests has been sent out, but they're not confirming it, it's not useful, right? So I have a lot here. Uh, you do want to keep it clean. Don't have more than a thousand. You probably, I think that might be the, the limit. You can click here, you know, and I could even change the rows. I could do like 50 at a time, right? Click all of them. I've sent them a friend request and I requested it on this date, this date, this date. They still didn't answer to me. And it's actually pretty recent, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. So let's just do 10. Click, click, and I click that. Oh, wait, no. They click remove. It says, are you sure you want to cancel 60 altcoin friend requests? Yeah, sure. Cancel it. And you can see here it's working. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And obviously, if you're canceling a lot, like more than 100 people, you could you know, do other things while this is running in the background. And it's really clean too, where it doesn't lag your computer. Um, so that's a pretty awesome tool. You can go into the next tab here. Is it, is it still working? If it's, if I click out of it, I'm not sure. But usually, if you're running a process, you know, if you're running it, you don't want to click out of it. I just click out of it because it was just an example. Going down is a friend remover. This is where you can remove friends. Um, this is more specific. And let's see, is it fetching the data? But honestly, I don't really, uh, I don't use this. Uh, I was going to show it to you, but at the same time, uh, I want to keep this video short so and useful. Um, so really, using friend requests, this is something you got to use. And um, you can play around with the other features, but really the next feature would just be um, interaction scanner. This shows how many people or who are interacting with your content on your profile. You can see here, um, it's going to show you a lot of them here. Let me see. I got to update it, make sure it's gathering the most recent um, data. So on my Facebook page, I post content, right? You know, daily or every other day or weekly, whatever it is. Um, and you want to make sure that people are uh, interacting with it, right? If they're not, then they probably don't even see your post given how the algorithm is now. Um, and if they're not, they might not be your ideal customer. And you want to save your friends list for, you know, your business partners, potential business partners, and your ideal clients that you plan to um, nurture them and um, do business with them in the future or near future, right? So you can see here, a lot of them, a lot of them are not showing the profile. Uh, one of the reasons could be, hmm, that's interesting. But anyways, you can see here numbers, how many reactions they did. Uh, how many people, how many times they commented, how many people, um, private messages, and how many mutual friends they have. Uh, I could type in here, let's say if they've never interacted with me, you know, uh, never commented on my messages, never even sent me a private message, and, and we have mutual friends. Let's see if I do all zeros. This one person here added this date. So I would probably want to delete that. All right, that's an example. Bye-bye. Sure, unfriend. I could click that person. Yep, see, not friends anymore. Uh, let's do a little bit more. Let's see. I'm going to change the numbers here. Let's see, people who I have mutual friends with but never have, uh, they never interacted with my posts or anything. Um, it's all these people. Let's see, 10 rows. Let's go with 50, just because these are probably the, the people that I've added. Recently. Oh, okay. Okay. So I could click all of them. I, I know some of these people. So, uh, because if, if you're um, been around long enough, you sort of know certain people. Yeah. So anyways, here, let's say if just 10 people, less than 10, 10 people. I could just say bye-bye, remove. And you can see here it's working. Boom. It's that easy, okay? So multiple tools for Facebook. You have a free account. You can test it out. 
uh, but I recommend, highly recommend the $10 one-time fee premium version. This is used for your friend request as well as the interaction scanner where you can remove inactive people who are not engaging in your content. That way it will improve your algorithm to get more engagement, more reach to your audience on your Facebook and possibly more sales. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or anything like that. But yeah, uh, let me know how it goes. And you can always check out my other videos. Take care. Bye.